Not even at Michael's, I would have succeed. I can't say much about the Siamese cat and the chinchilla, but I've been in trouble about the rooster and the dog that was barking. As for the Siamese cat, she made jokes about me being caught in the fishing pole and said my name. I wasn't even surprised. But the most funny thing about that job is that I made that chinchilla Pokemon named Minchino cry after I made him leave. He should know that I hate Pokemon entirely. But overall, that's it. This has been the 17th time, I've been fired. Where do I go next? I know. I'll go work at Chuck E. Cheese. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? I would like to buy a brand new one for these 2000 tickets I've earned please. Ma'am, I noticed something on your shoulder. Is that a bee? You mean her? Oh, that's my pet bee you're talking about. Her name is Clover. She's also my palisman that I bond with her over my wish to protect my friends. Well, I won't allow any bees that can sting other people. Get that thing out of here before it can sting everyone around here. Okay. First of all, that was very uncalled for. And second, she's a very kindful bee I take care of every day. And also, bees only sting if you don't mess with it. No craps given. I'm not letting you have the prizes if you don't get rid of that bee. You shouldn't have pets around here as well, let alone in the pizza place. Clover is not hurting anyone. Like I said, she's a kindful bee. I understand if you don't like bees much, but you can at least live with it will ya? No, I don't. You can either get rid of that bee or should I come over there and do it myself. The choice is yours if you don't want me to squish the disgusting thing. Fine. I cannot believe you're taking this too seriously over something you're paranoid of. I'm going to another Chuck E. Cheese. Hey. I am not paranoid. I just don't want that disgraceful bee to sting other people. Now just go away. Shut up. What does it look like I am doing? Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? I was wondering if you can tell me the way to the fun house so I can scan my play pass. I'm sorry, but that fun house seems to be dangerous. Dangerous? What's so dangerous about it? That fun house seems fine the first time I've been in there. Are you serious? I've seen people getting hurt by running over a mirror. One person had to go to a hospital for a brain trauma. I won't let it happen to you too. That nearly happens to some people who's not as careful. I have glasses to help me see perfectly when going around places. Plus the fact the mirrors are like a maze that can't help you get to the other side. So it's not as dangerous as you think. Even if those glasses helps you see well, I am still not letting you get in the funhouse. I'm not letting you get hurt from this pizza place. Um, hello? I am like, 13 years old. I'll just be fine on my very own. But thanks for your concern though. Oh really? If you're so protective, then how about? Wait, are those ants here to attack you again? Wait what? Dude! What was that for? That's one good example on why the fun house is pretty dangerous. Now how fun was that? You're crazy. If this is how you're gonna fool, then I am leaving. I better not see you again. I have pulled yet another prank like in KFC. That nerdy should have seen that one coming. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? I would like to get a pepperoni pizza with Caesar salad and a diet coat please. Hold on. You're a leopard. Leopards are carnivores. They shouldn't eat what normal cats eat. Especially what you've just ordered. I am actually a jaguar, not a leopard. Also, salad and diet coat is what keeps my body slim and healthy. It's my lunch break after all that performing. I see. But why pizza? That's gonna ruin your slimness too. In other words, you would turn yourself fat. I am not even gonna eat a lot of food. I exercise all day to stay in good shape. That's not what your looks say. I still think a performer like you shouldn't eat unhealthy choices. Speaking of which, don't you know you're ordering human food on the menu? I know that. 
I don't have a problem with dairy products. Like I said, this is my lunch break with all that performing. Now, can I please get my food? Not if you were bringing human foods from the menu. You should go back to the African savanna and attack a zebra. Now what you said right now was just violent. I cannot believe you are being so immature while I am just ordering something. You are completely sick in the head. Agent Trout, are we having some problems over here? No boss, everything is going fine. Good, get back to work. <laughs> Well, Mr. Employer, I think it's best that you give me what I ordered. Otherwise, you would be into deep trouble. Oh, you're just so lucky I almost been caught in a bad situation. But fine. Go wait at a table somewhere. Thank you. I hope my food gets ready quick before the next circus edition. Jeez. If it wasn't for her, I would have saved my job. But I'm glad my boss wasn't gonna fire me, yet. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? We would like to order three cheese pizzas with a Sprite and two Coca-Colas, please. And I want to get Dippin' Dots ice cream and some chocolate chip pizza, please. No, Angelica. We're not here to buy those sugary products. We're here to buy pizza and salad. What? That's not fair. You guys always want to buy me anything, especially you, Mum. Why won't you buy me Dippin' Dots and chocolate chip pizza? Of course, you're our number one daughter we know, but we're not spending money on desserts. We'll stick with what we're having. Well, how about when we're done with the pizza and salad, I can have dip in dots and chocolate chip pizza, right? I told you, no. Besides, we have plenty of ice cream and cookies at home that you'll eat tonight. I don't care. Dip in dots ice cream and chocolate chip pizza is all I asked for. Come on, I'm so hungry. Angelica, you listen to your own mother and cut this out. I will never stop throwing a tantrum until you guys give me what I want. You heard your father. Cut this out right now. You're acting like a spoiled brat. Did you just call me a spoiled brat? Yes I did. Ouch. Ouch. How does that one feel, bitch? Angelica, I cannot believe you would hit your own parents like that and sweared. You know what? We're taking you back home and you'll be grounded. Okay, okay. I'm sorry I've turned on like that. I promise it won't happen again. Now please, let's stick with pizza and salad like you guys said. It's too late for that. Come on, we're going straight home. No 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 Okay, now that was just unexpected. Geez, it was the second time where customers hasn't done anything to piss me off compared to Burger King, but I am glad that's over. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? I would like to order cheese pizza and a Coca-Cola please. Hold on a second. Look at you, you don't have a mouth. It would be impossible to eat your food without a mouth, wouldn't it? I'm afraid you might say that, but to be honest, I do have a mouth. Though some people don't see it move, looks can be deceiving. And if I didn't have one, how would I be talking? Well, I see you have no eyes or nose either. So another question to ask is, how did you even came here all the way without any eyeballs? I can still see better without any eyes. And I can smell things anyways without a nose. And it's not logic, it's just my look that stays the same. Yeah right, I don't believe you. You're lying as if I'm giving you your food. As I said to a customer who was also mouthless at Burger King. Whoever that person was, I'm sure he was good. Also, what I am saying is a fact. I would show you proof if you could just give me what I ordered. The only thing I should be showing you is to walk out of this restaurant with your logic excuse. Screw you then. I cannot believe you're being this pissed over something that doesn't make sense. You should get yourself a mouth before you speak to me. Shut up. Agent Trout, how dare you be rude to the customers? That's it, you're fired. Get out of here, and you're banned. <laughs>